Hello everyone, this is Sheena of Sheena's Ketovore Life. We are smoking and grilling and I am bringing you a famous steakhouse delicious recipe on sauteed mushrooms. So stay tuned, here we go. This is my recipe. So we are doing the um, seasoning salt is homemade. So, and that's because there's certain things and spices I can have. So let's do this. First of all, what we're going to do is turn off that. We got a pot. We are going to put this pot on a little, about medium. Medium. We have one stick of butter, real butter. We're going to put it in this pan. All right, I'm putting in the butter. Butter. All right, and we're gonna just let that melt. Melt down, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up a little bit more. And we're gonna let that melt. Let me get me a Spoon to kind of stir that around a little. So, yeah, I used to make this. So, let me turn on this light. So, I used to make this um, at a restaurant that I worked at through high school. It's really, really good. And so, after I put everything in here, we're going to cook this down. And then we're going to put it in the fridge. It's best if you let it sit overnight and then reheat it when you're ready for it. But they're delicious when they're freshly done too. So it's whatever you prefer. If you want a darker color on your mushrooms, uh, more flavor, then you definitely want to let it sit in the fridge overnight. All right, let's see on this. All right, okay, now what we're gonna do is you can use a whole onion, let me grab it. Or you can use a half, doesn't matter. This is a whole onion. I'm gonna put that in there, let that saute. Then I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. to high happy Labor Day weekend guys I smoked some burgers grilled some burgers and I am going to do some steaks later and then I will be doing a brisket Oh, I love the small onions. Okay, this might be a little noisy because I'm turning on the fan because I don't really want my whole house to smell like onions. I don't want my house to smell like onions and butter. All right, now I'm gonna start adding adding the seasoning. It says, okay, if you wanna do it the easy way, you can use Lowry seasoning salt, 
and you're going to use about a fourth of a cup in here. My way, I'm doing my own seasonings, making my own seasoning salt. So let me get my camera holder here to hold this for me. Alright, I'm going to turn it back down to about medium heat. I've got ground turmeric. I'm going to do roughly a tablespoon of ground, heaping spoon of ground turmeric. I'm going to do one, two, three garlic powder. Going to do, let me put that on. One, two, three onion powder. Then I'm using paprika. About one tablespoon of paprika. I only did over because it's kind of stuck to it. Then I'm going to do, I'm using a little bit of Mexican style chili powder just to give it a little zinger because I like it. Don't judge me. I know I shouldn't use this spoon. Just try to get the yummy off of there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take some A1 steak sauce and about a half a cup in there. You grab the spinner and stir this around. Now I'm making my own specialized season salt. But like I said, you can use Lowry's. You grab some water. Okay, to keep it from scorching, I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Maybe a little bit more water. Oh. Just bringing out the flavors and that spice. I do ground my own spices as well. This is just easier. Super easy would be to get the Lowry seasoning salt and use that. All right, now I'm gonna add salt. And how much salt I'm gonna use? It's about, uh, let's go half a cup. Half a cup of salt. I use pink Himalayan sea salt. I like this brand. I get it off Amazon. It's uh, Salt 84. No, I'm not sponsored. All right, now I'm going to add more water. Three eight ounce glasses of water, but you're cooking it down, so you know. And you give this a nice stir. Let me take a taste, see if it's how I like it, because, like I said, I'm making my own seasoning salt. Oh yeah, baby, that's good. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take my mushrooms, and I'm gonna put them in. All right? Now I'm gonna just let them cook. Turn it up to about seven, a little bit higher medium. And I'm just gonna let them cook. Put a lid on it, let it go. And we'll be back to you when I get this finished. 
All right, they're boiling and we're just gonna continue to let it boil. And I'm gonna show you one more time how I do my seasoning salt. If you want to do it the easy way, buy Lowry seasoning salt and use Lowry seasoning salt. But I live with lupus and I don't like the extra stuff in there. So I make my own seasoning salt. So here I go. If you want me to do another video measuring it out, I will. Ground turmeric. Garlic powder. Onion powder. My hot Mexican style chili powder. Paprika. And salt. All right, now I'm going to stir this around. It's hard to do one-handed. Stir it around real good. And what I made this for is I am going to put this on my steak. All right. Our mushrooms are still sauteing. Our mushrooms are still sauteing. Um, now I made my own seasoning salt for my steaks. And what I'm gonna do is they are already dry. Is I am going to coat them. One. Two. And three. Now I'm going to go out to the grill and we're going to put these on. Alright, we're going to let this go. And the steaks are looking fantastic. Medium rare. All right, a little bit longer.
right.